different and we should all embrace that. That's the message behind the We Are All America March. It's a national movement happening right now. But first we have some breaking news and it's a key ruling, a restraining order issued on the temporary travel ban. And we are waiting for the White House to respond and clarify what exactly is next in this. A U.S. judge in Seattle just ordered to temporarily block the temporary travel ban President Trump put his signature on until the court can take a closer look at those lawsuits. U.S. Customs and Border Protection already agreeing to honor this. Let's get back to, out to ABC 15's Melissa Blasius now, where tonight's march is taking place in Tempe. And Melissa, any change in the mood there as all of this news spreads quickly? Well, certainly they want to know a lot more about what that judge's ruling is because they have friends and family who could be affected. Some, we're told, are stranded overseas right now. A couple hundred people turned out for this walk to show their love for all people and their opposition to President Trump's executive orders. They walked in silence, but their signs spoke loudly. They say singling out certain countries for a travel ban, and especially the part about barring refugees strikes fear into the hearts of all immigrants. Immigrants. They say it encourages people to question the intentions of their neighbors as well, even if they've lived here for many years. We are all America events like this are happening all around the country. Donald Trump and all these people are sort of attacking our community, so it's so uplifting to see our neighbors supporting us in this way. I'm a daughter of immigrants as well. I'm a professional, college educated, and we all deserve equal rights and treatment. Many of the marchers also telling us about their opposition to a bill right now in the state legislature that was just introduced. It would pull Arizona out of the refugee resettlement program temporarily, perhaps permanently. It also singles out charities if they want to continue aiding refugees. If this bill goes into effect, they would be charged, fined $1,000 per day per refugee. Now we're hearing at the state house though that they don't think that this one is going to pass. Back to you.